Hey guys, uh, my name's Adam, and uh, today, first things first, huge news, Movie Club Strikes Back. This is our new collaborative channel that we're just launching now. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, subscribe. Trust me, you want to subscribe, because this thing's going to be awesome, and there's another reason why you're going to want to subscribe that I'll get into on another video, but trust me, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel. Um, week one, first Movie Club pick is my pick, and I have chosen Pontypool, and I'm actually going to take this time to try out a new format. Um, a lot of you guys know that I like to get into the sort of meat of a movie, which involves talking about the spoilers. I'm going to try something new to be a little bit more considerate to you guys. Um, I'm going to try talking about the movie in a recommend or not recommend way for the first part, and then I'm going to let you know spoilers are coming up. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, go check it out and come back for the next part. It's probably going to kill my analytics, but that's not really what I'm into this for. So, new format, let's give it a try. Um, Pontypool, should you check it out? Yes, that's why I picked it. Um, I love this movie. I was uh, introduced to it by Victoria over at Tourist Times and uh, Jesse, our friend, I'm sure you've seen in some of our videos. They, uh, they showed me this movie. I loved it. I had to share it with everybody because it was so great. Um, I, uh, although I have seen it for a while, uh, I just needed to wait to get tagged, which didn't happen, by the way, but that's another video. Anyway, um, so here's the thing. It's a movie, it's basically a zombie movie, but it's really not. Um, the people that made this movie, they will tell you it's not a zombie movie, it's not a zombie movie, but it's kind of a zombie movie. Um, there's a lot more to it. Um, I don't want to tell you what uh, what it is that makes it unique because that's, that's the charm of this movie. That's a spoiler. You need to watch it to discover, but trust me, it's like no other zombie movie you've ever seen, and that's why you need to see it. And I know Everybody that's seen this movie, everybody that's heard of it, here's Canadian independent film. That's not going to be very good. Trust me, you're wrong. Even I thought that, and I'm Canadian. Trust me, you need to see this movie. Um, you're going to... I'm not going to tell you you're going to love it, but everyone I've, I know that's seen it, I, there's a couple movie reviews that are already up. Everybody loved it. Trust me, it's, it's worth checking out. Even if you don't like it, it's, it's different than anything you've ever seen. I'll promise you that much. It takes place in a small northern Ontario town called Pontypool. I'll actually post a map because it's you'll see just how small it is. It takes place almost entirely in one room, um, almost entirely in one building, and there's only one or two shots outside of the building. But even the shots that are within the building are mostly in the one room, one or two rooms. It's a room, there's a sound booth in the room, so it's one room with a sound booth in it, and then sometimes they go in the sound booth. But, I mean, there's other, there's, there's mostly inside the building, but within that building, it's mostly inside that area. Um, the language plays a key part in this movie. That's why it's um, in a radio station. And another interesting, cool part about this is it was actually adapted into a radio play. Very cool. Um, I suspect that the people involved had a love of radio in some way or another. Although this movie was originally adapted from a book called Pontypool Changes Everything. And trust me when you see it, it does change a lot of the I, preconceived ideas about zombie movies. Because this is basically a zombie movie, but it's a thought zombie movie. There's a lot more thought into this movie. It's not about the gore, it's more about um, other things, stories, plots. Um, a little bit of foreshadowing, and with that said, I'm going to get into the spoiler parts. So if you haven't seen this movie, stop uh, stop watching, you know, get, go watch it when you have time and come back and let me know what you thought in the comments below. So, on with the spoilers, on with the meat and potatoes. Um, the reason that I, th okay, the foreshadowing that I was talking about is just in the way that people talk, because people will start to repeat certain letters, start to trip up on their words, and just something as subtle as that um, shows that the person could be turning into um, a zombie or they could be infected. Very cool, very well thought out. Um, another thing that uh, is cool about, I mentioned the radio play, the reason that I wanted to mention that is because the radio, as you've seen, the reason that works is because all of the action is described over the radio, so why not turn it into a radio play? It's very cool. You could probably just walk around with your wireless headphones, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of wireless headset, uh, my wireless headphones. You could probably walk around and understand exactly what's going on in this movie. It practically already is a radio play. It's all about the words that are used. Very cool, very interesting. Um, my favorite scene, and it was actually the one that Victoria told me that spoiled me and made me want to watch it, 
and if you're watching this and you haven't seen it, trust me, it's probably going to make you want to see it. Um, Victoria, she told me about the scene where um, the one character is making a tea and you hear the kettle go Ooh, and then she removes the kettle and uh, Laurel Ann is still going Ooh, and they don't know where that noise is coming from because the kettle's not and then they look around and they say oh she's what is she doing and they're confused and that's really when you start to understand what the virus is very cool very awesome scene um, another thing that I really think is important to mention that I want to make sure to mention is that this virus is something that we've all experienced everyone has said a word so many times that it starts to lose its meaning that we start to get tripped up on it that it starts to we start to get lost in our own head and the world around us is sort of lost because we're just we're not even sure if we're saying the right word it's a phenomenon we've all experienced and that's what makes this movie great you can everyone can relate to it um, the other thing is I wanted to mention and I'm just throwing this out there this is a huge spoiler um, Grant we all know that he gets infected apparently although you can debate whether you believe it or not but he gets infected I think the time that he gets infected is when he listens to the baby and the baby's crying and then he goes a little bit stir crazy in the room in the office and he can hear a baby in in the office and he's looking around for it and he's just going a little bit crazy I think that that's when he gets infected um, very cool that you can see that um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is it had the worst tagline ever. It was shut up or die. Um, I mean, yeah, that describes the movie well, but it's, come on guys, I'm sure you could have marketed this movie in a much better way. Um, and another really cool thing about this is obviously it's a small independent film. Most zombie movies have hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes of extras. You know, they're not going to have the budget for that. They found a way to get around that and that's by describing the action over the radio instead of having to show it, which is, I guess, the opposite of a very popular film rule of show, don't tell, but whatever, they tell instead of show, and it works in this movie, and it's awesome, I think, I, and a lot of people seem to agree. Um, the after credit scene, a lot of people, a lot of people didn't like that, um, and I don't, I don't have an explanation for it. The only thing that I can say is, um, this movie does embrace nonsense, and maybe the idea that it's nonsensical shows it, it, it sort of sticks with that idea. I don't know. Um, I can't explain it. The biggest criticism of this movie is language as an infection. Um, although it is something that we've all experienced, it, it, I can't, you know, I don't think anybody can really explain it. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And the biggest gripe that I have is why does it have to be the English language if you just have to understand the word? Should be any language. Um, but it is a sci-fi movie, that means there's elements of it that aren't real or realistic. Um, with that said, I think it's an awesome movie. Um, there's no need to, you know, pick it apart and... If you liked it, you liked it. No need to pick it apart and find, nitpick it, I think. I'm not going to nitpick it. Maybe some people will, but I don't think it's worth nit nitpicking. It's such a unique movie. Um, very cool. I'm glad you guys liked it for the most part. What I've seen, everybody seems to like it. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this movie. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought, um, and uh, have a good one.